In this episode, we are going to take a look on the filters and especially how to create the uh, bloom filter. So I have the same scene here where I left off in the last episode. And I'm just going to add to this light a bloom filter. So if you want to know more, just go to Google and search for Panda 3D filters and open up the common image filters. So here you can see that uh, you can create all sorts of filters like a bloom filter which creates a glowing halo around bright objects. You can create a carton inker filter which draws a black line around 3D objects. You can create a vo volumetric lighting, uh, so screen space method for casting god rays inverted filters, inverts all colors, blur or sharpen filter, applies a generic blur or a sharpen filter, and also ambient occlusion filter. So it applies a screen space ambient occlusion. So just read through it, how to use those. I'm just going to show you how to create a bloom filter. So this one. So the first thing you have to do is import the common filters uh, class from direct that filters or filter that common filters import the common filters class. So from direct that filter that common filters import common filters. And here uh, let's say after this line, I'm going to instantiate an object from this. So filters equals common filters. And this needs two arguments. One is the window, so self.win. And the second is the camera, so self.cam. And let's create or set this uh, in this filters object a bloom filter. You can do that by calling the filters that set bloom and uh, with these two lines uh, or three lines with the importing you created a simple bloom filter so as you can see now it has this bloom effect the light I'm just going to comment out this orbiting code and set the light's position to here it is to 4x and negative 4y so as you can see everything which has this bright white or white color everything gets this halo effect and also these cubes they are blooming and you can also just create your own filters but for that you need to learn actually shader programming so Panda uses CG uh, shaders and also GLSL shaders so if you want to create your own effects you have to learn first those uh, CG or GLSL shader programming when you set the bloom filter you have uh, several options you can also read about these options here in the documentation so blending min trigger minimum brightness at which the halo is generated and so on. I'm just going to set the size and by default the size is, is set to medium. I'm going to set it to large. So here in this set bloom I'm going to set the size equal to and this is a string large and uh, now this halo is a little bit larger than it was previously. So just play with these filters. I'm don't going to, at least not now, I'm not going to make uh, more videos about the filters, but it's good to know that it is, uh, it is uh, in the 
Panda, we have these nice filters we can use in our programs and also uh, you can wrote your own filters if you want.